Hello again. It is November 22nd, 2018. Before I get into this, I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along to me. Not this article, but same subject matter. Trump signs bill to further protect critical infrastructure. Good, right? Yeah. He's also protecting a pandemic delivery system. What? How is that connected? Let's get into this article. And as I was reading this article, you know, I highlight as I read the important parts of the article. And I kind of highlighted the entire article. But it's really interesting how you can know things and you're reading and you kind of know, okay, the Patriot Act and yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you come across new information. I learned something, so let's get into it. It's a sad day when protection equals assault and when events such as the president signing HR 3359, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Act of 2017, uh, it's heralded as protecting the nation when in fact this legislation further protects a system which will devastate the nation. Now I need to put you on hold for a second um, because the cats need to go outside and play instead of playing right underneath my microphone. Thank you for that pause that you probably didn't even realize that you were paused. Um, yeah, modus operandi of the United States to disguise its most dangerous projects as protection and Americans buy it. Following the events of September 11, 2001, the U.S. Congress rushed to pass a massive piece of legislation which ended up putting us in an exquisite danger embedded in the USA Patriot Act was Section 817, the expansion of the Biological Weapons Statute, which gave the U.S. government immunity from violating its own biological weapons laws. Should I read that again? The Patriot Act under Section 817, Congress gave the U.S. government immunity from violating its own biological weapons laws. Don't you love how Congress passes legislation so easily and quickly, and it seems to be bipartisan uh, to, well, absolve themselves or, or to give themselves immunity for crimes. They did it with the legislation passed that <laughs> the legislation permits Congress persons to engage in insider trading. <laughs> but if you do it, you will go to jail. This is our Congress. How did we let this happen? Yeah. So, the biological weapons laws. Hmm. Now the U.S. government is immune. And, well, that means that they could be spraying biologicals up in to the, you know, uh, up in the atmosphere, the aerosol spraying. And should anybody find out, well, too bad we're immune. <laughs> uh -uh -uh. Because uh, what is considered critical infrastructure also entails a biochem delivery system involving a double line water system which has the capacity to selectively deliver toxins to pre designated targets. Wow. Did you know any of this? I didn't. And you can check out, uh, here's the, the black lettering, the hyperlinks. You can check out the blueprints and other documents published here and here, which lay out the nature of this covert 
delivery system. Why would they build a double line water system so they could deliver toxins to pre-designated targets? Do you think it's like individual targets? Like the double line is going to every home and they know the exact address so that they could deliver toxins to somebody that they wanted to kill in that home? Or could it be the delivery of toxins to entire communities? This is our government, and they're here to protect us. Congress affirmed the right of the U.S. government to deploy biological weapons with immunity. Trump signing into law the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency Act guts our ability to contest this law. Yeah. We have no private right of action. Yay, Trump! He's making America great again by stripping us of our due process rights, of our legal rights, of our um, First Amendment rights, our right to protest. Um, yeah, that's Trump. When you have a Congress this corrupt, this evil, that literally turns the Constitution on its head, and the American people don't really give a damn, Oof. we're in trouble. We're in trouble. So what this means is that citizens or citizen groups have no right or ability to contest this law. The what. What CISA does is reorganize the Department of Homeland Security's National Protection and Programs Directorate into a new agency. It prioritizes its mission as the federal lead for cybersecurity and infrastructure protection. And the establishment of this new agency is on the same level as FEMA, Secret Service, and Sean Sullivan, who is an F-Secure advisor, stated the unanimous passage, unanimous, wow, Republicans and Democrats, they all signed away your right to sue our government. Well, they've been signing away your rights left and right, so, um, but still people are caught in the matrix. Yeah, the left against the right. Let's watch them duke it out. The unanimous passage in the House reflects the seriousness involved. It's beyond partisan politics. The weaponization of critical infrastructure in general and of water systems in particular has been promoted through both Republican and Democrat presidencies. It appears that the project to reconfigure the country's water systems was launched by President Nixon around the same time that Tricky Dick announced that the U.S. was unilaterally abandoning its offensive biological weapons program. Now that's a trick, huh? So Tricky Dick announces that we're abandoning a biological weapons program but there was no abandonment. All you, it, you know, some of this stuff is so easy to check out. These people, all of them, Trump included, they speak with a forked tongue. We are a lying nation. And when lies are accepted, that's the seed of evil. And we got evil, boy. But shortly after Tricky Dick 
made that announcement, the international treaty known as the Biological Weapons Convention came into force. Listen to this. The Biological Weapons Convention is largely, largely just a piece of paper. There are no verification, no enforcement capabilities, and it was under the tutelage of former United Nations Ambassador John Bolton, neocon. Oh, right, the neocon that President Trump has appointed to be his national security advisor. Well, the U.S. delegation at the United Nations boycotted the suggested verification protocol uh, that was presented to the Biological Weapons Convention. That was in 2001. May of 2001. May. Right before September 9, 2001. Um, September 11, Jesus. Just months before the anthrax attacks. Due to this verification boycott, which was affirmed later by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in her presentation uh, to the Biological Weapons Convention in 2011, um, uh, there is at this juncture no possibility of international intervention with or oversight to any projects by the United States government involving potentially dangerous biological weapons activities, including what is clearly a weaponized water delivery system. Did you get all that? Bolton, Trump, Clinton, they're all on the same team. We violate international law all the time. We violate our own laws all the time. Um, we violate treaties and conventions all the time. And the United States just gets away with everything. So it's interesting that this Biological Weapons Convention in May of 2001, then you have the anthrax attacks. So just months before the anthrax attacks, which was May of 2001. There is Bolton making sure that there will be no enforcement or verification capabilities, no protocol whatsoever to this um, treaty. Well, don't you think that they were protecting themselves? Because that those anthrax attacks, that's our government doing it. So they didn't want anybody inspecting. Oh, God, this country is just a tricky dick. It's just a tricky dick. Um, biological Weapons Convention mandates reporting any change in biological weapons activities, including changes in legislation to the convention at large. Did the U.S. report the changes that gave the U.S. immunity from violating its own bioweapons laws? No, the U.S. did not. What the U.S. said, according to uh, this delegate Chris Park, the U.S. simply forgot to report this radical and disturbing change. <laughs> CISA legislation, by removing any right to private action, further circles the wagons around critical infrastructure and cements the US, U.S.'s ability to covertly deploy through water, which is defined as critical infrastructure, any biological or chemical agent, and claim not only immunity, but also deny any legal right to protest this through the legal system. Given the covert nature of this delivery system, it is to be expected that the U.S. would claim that the resultant mass deaths to be attributable to a naturally occurring pandemic. But it will be the U.S. government actually using that dual water system 
to spread whatever kind of virus pathogen they want. Isn't our government fabulous? And isn't Trump doing such a great job protecting Americans?